Alright, I'm a more Legend of Zelda Forcer's Adventure walkthrough. I apologize about the last video. It was like this, so I have debut sets. I have my uh, recording device set, so when I record 15 minutes of footage, um, the video would automatically stop, and the end, in the end of the video just ended abruptly. I lost count. I will try to record like another minute or so, up to seven, up to 16 or 17 minutes of game footage. But if I go like as far as like 20, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose the game audio. So I, I'm not gonna take my chances. I'm going over 20 minutes. Like I said, I could record more than 15 minutes of footage now, so I could just record how much long I want, and then after that, put it in Windows Movie Maker and get it posted on YouTube without without YouTube restricting me. So, so let's do it. Just like the last video, I just moved this block thing, and now... Oh, what the hell? Oh, come back! Ah, oh, late. There we go. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Now we just have to make this switch over here in box formation. And, okay, I guess we gotta go down here first. As you see, there's two treasure chests. There's even some bracelets you can earn. There's like a blue one that makes you. Oh, nice. A blue one. Like I said, <laughs> the, the blue one now makes you reduce your health. Makes you reduces them at health by half, and there's even a gold one as well, which makes you, which makes you pick up and drop objects. There we go, we got a forest fairy. These things are lifesavers for this game because, well, uh, because the forest fairies in this game, uh, the forest fairies they actually um, I need to think for a minute. They actually, mother. They actually replenish your health when you die. Like, just, let's just say, for instance, though, the on the all, four, you lose your health and then all four links die. Well, then, apparently, they just end up on the, they just end up dying. And I picked up a boomerang for no freaking reason. When apparently I have the fire rod. I get going to. Go into this formation and then get your fire rod ready. Epic, right? Now yeah, we'll have to activate the support switches by making three of the links go right there. Put the fourth one here, and then these two, then these brown rocks right beside them, change into chests. Get the four shims because they won't last long. There are some that will. That will stay out of uh, for like I don't know how. For, that will just stay out like forever until they're captured. Well, that's weird. Now that we got the sword powered up, um, uh, if Link's in my health is full, he can shoot at laser beams, just like the classic Zelda games. There we go. Got all the forest gems. All right, we're at the end of the level. Uh, okay. Very apologize. Apologies, Emma. This was very short. I'll teach you another neat little secret, though. Once you once you clear the end of the level with the with the powered up sword, you earn them a you earn one forest berry for every one thousand forest gems. So. Right now I have 3,500, so that means three more extra force berries I'm going to get added to my score. And as you see, I have four. You know, when I saw another walkthrough, though, they said that it uses four force berries for all four links, but it only uses one. I don't know why. That's kind of stupid. Four force berries just to replenish all four links again? Like, come on. You only need one. One to replenish all the four links again and bring them back on their feet. Maybe for four, maybe it was about, four, if you're playing with four players, it might be four, but I don't see that happening. Alright, 
And though we finally cleared the level, we'll be uh, the next uh, the next level will be will be in another video. So for now, until then, see ya.